Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface. At the end of my last video, I told you that this video is going to have some fireworks. And that is because this video is going to show you the end storyline to do with the Jade statue and the Jade temple in the Jade forest. In other words, it's got lots of Jade things going on. So if you don't want to know, this is a spoiler vid, and the best thing to do would be to watch some of my other vids. Or just like it and put a nice little comment and tell me how great you think the world is. But first, before it does, it sends us back to the village to do a couple of quests. And that person, that other horde member there, keep your eye on them. Because they're going to they're gonna come back later on in this video and be quite important. So, the first thing, I've got to go around, collect the reports, and then I've got to motivate 10 hoes and monkeys by chucking a bucket of water over them. That's how you motivate them. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the hosen to fight the Junjin. If you didn't understand a word of what I just said there, basically, we're trying to get the monkeys to fight the fish people. And that... Did you see that, that little bit of um, paper in the uh, hut? That was disgusting. Any <laughs> Anywho, this should have been two very easy quests. And the first one is, the one we collect the reports nice and easy. The people are scattered around the village, no problem at all. And then head down to the wharf. And there is Rico. Oh, God, I love that monkey so much. And it's the only bright light. So going back, where are these monkeys? Where are these? I've only found one so far. Where are the rest of these monkeys? Can't find them. Ah, there's a monkey, and there's that hoardy that I was talking about before. Now, that hoardy beat me to the punch and managed to throw the bucket of water before me. Now, that hoardy and myself are the only two people doing this quest in the village. And we can't hardly find monkeys anywhere. They're spawning at a ridiculously low rate. And I know it's, it could be very easy to say, yeah, but all they have to do is just up the spawn rate. No. Look at the tiny, tiny area that these monkeys are meant to be spawning in. And then you just take into account, when this game's released, there's going to be, what, 30, 40, 50, 60, however many people doing the quest lines in this village. It's going to be pandemonium, blizzard. Just spread monkeys out everywhere. You could have sleeping monkeys in the village. You could have sleeping monkeys outside of the village. You could have sleeping monkeys by the riverbank. You could have sleeping monkeys down by the wall so we could go and visit Rico again and stroke him because he's so cool. But dear God, this was one of the most mind-numbing quests I've ever done in my whole WoW life. And it kind of made a lot of sense as to why so many of the quests in this game are pathetic. And that is because this lacks so much imagination. Whoever makes these quests either has no imagination whatsoever or just can't be bothered because it's just so damn weak it's unreal. You're building up to a war and we're throwing buckets of water on monkeys. Sounds fun. Sounds like it should be fun. Oh dear God, it was mind-numbing. Absolutely mind-numbing. But it's going to come to an end. I think I've had to record this um, <laughs> this footage about 15 times because I keep swearing my head off. And I might just spit on General Nazgrim because he gave me that quest. But this is where the storyline comes to a head. And this, this should be some of the greatest questing experience now in this zone. Because we're going to get the Hosen to fight the Junjin. It's all going to happen here at the temple. Their anger and their hatred of each other is going to cause Shar energy to infect the, the area itself. Which causes a massive Shar beast to, to form. And oh god, the, the question now should be absolutely incredible. Well will come as no surprise when I say, no, it's not. In actual fact, it completely skips over all the Junjin and Hosen War. We're just getting the aftermath of it. All we've had to do is just go around on a serpent, dropping some bombs on the Shah Corrupted area to get rid of that big beast, and we're just left with these corrupted remnants all over the place, which we've got to destroy. Little ones, big ones... And it's just like, what? You have this massive storyline 
that involves the infection of the Temple of the Jade Serpent, that involves the Hosen and the Junjin going to war. And the reason why they've gone to war is because although they don't like each other, the Horde and the Alliance have pretty much manipulated the two sides to fight so they can get the upper hand in the Jade Forest and have the more allies in Pandaria. That's pretty much what it boils down to. So both the Horde and the Alliance have been horrific in what's gone on here and, and have definitely contributed to it on a massive, massive scale. And yet, what does it do storyline-wise? Nothing. Just says, oh yeah, all that's over and done with. And uh, you can just go around killing some Shower Energies. Un absolutely unbelievable. And I know I get lovely worked up about this stuff. But when you've got so many poorly done quests in this expansion and then you have a golden opportunity to make something amazing i mean you could have you could have had the two sides we could have taken control over x amount of hosen you know with some allies with some horde or alliance soldiers scattered in there as well and there could have been some wonderful opportunities for quests but oh no 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 just go back to your typical kill and collect kill and collect and and it just oh, it frustrates me more than anything because it's a great little storyline or potentially could have been a great little storyline of, of, of how the Temple of the Jade Serpent got corrupted, how the Jade Statue itself got destroyed and yet yeah, exactly, we're left with this and as you probably realise I've gone round the, the statue a few times and not seen any of the people to help and that's because there's a, a bug as well. So I have to scut the footage on. And I, I asked around on general chat what was going on. And, and somebody was kind enough to, to post, you have to log out and log back in to the game. And then the people that you meant to save will start showing up. So thank you to the person that helped us out there. So a golden opportunity completely missed by just sticking with some mundane, boring questing. And once more highlighting how weak the single person questing experience is in this expansion to date when it's so much better when you go to a specific storyline like this was so anyway we're drawing to the end of this vid i'm taking the jade serpent now to the valley of the four winds where i will go to either the crassaran wilds or stay in the valley Keep your votes coming for that, and the video will come for that shortly. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, and I shall be back very shortly with some more stuff. Take care. Bye-bye.